This is the Music History Today podcast for July 24th. On today's show, it's all about the movies. Two musical movies premiere, one good, one not so much. A musical movie voice passes away. But we also throw in a Grammy Award winning album from a certain Taylor Swift. First up though, on this date in 1938, Artie Shaw recorded the song Begin the Begin. In 1946, composer Howard Hansen married his wife, Margaret Elizabeth Nelson. In 1957, the Pat Boone movie Bernadine premiered in movie theaters. In 1964, Marvin Gaye recorded the song How Sweet It Is to Be Loved by You. In 1965, the Beach Boys recorded the song California Girls. In 1972, Andrew Lloyd Webber married his wife, Sarah Hugel. In 1977, Led Zeppelin played for the last time in America. In 1978, the movie Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band premiered. It starred Peter Frampton and the Bee Gees and was a complete and utter flop. In 1987, the movie La Bamba, about the life of Richie Valens, premiered and it was a complete and utter flop breakthrough hit, especially for Lou Diamond Phillips, who played Richie Valens. In 1998, a tribute concert in honor of South African President Nelson Mandela's 80th birthday was held in South Africa. Stevie Wonder was among the performers. In 1999, Trich from Naughty by Nature married Salt from Salt and Pepper. In 2004, Alex Band of the group The Calling married actress Jennifer Skye. In 2011, Abel Tesfaye performed under the name The Weeknd for the first time on stage. In 2018, Demi Lovato ended up in the hospital after a drug overdose. And in 2022, Joni Mitchell performed a full set of music since 2000 when she performed with Brandi Carlisle at the Newport Folk Festival after having suffered a stroke a few years earlier. In theater, in 1942, Irving Berlin premiered his musical This is the Army on Broadway. In 1965, the musical Flora, the Red Menace closed on Broadway. And in 2016, the musical Shuffle Along, or the making of the musical sensation of 1921 and all that followed, closed on Broadway. Albums that were released in the UK on July 24th include, in 1971, yes, released Time in a Word. Meanwhile, in America, in 1967, the Beach Boys released The Best of the Beach Boys, Volume 2. In 1976, John Anderson released Oleus of Sun Hillo. In 1990, Timothy B. Schmidt released Tell Me the Truth, and Dred Zeppelin released Unleaded. In 1992, Nils Lofgren released Crooked Line. In 2001, Cake released Comfort Eagle. Eddie Money released The Best of Eddie Money. In Sync released Celebrity. Ringo Starr released the anthology so far. And Curtis Mayfield released Soul Legacy. In 2004, Joni Mitchell released The Beginning of Survival. In 2012, The Antlers released Undersea. And in 2020, Taylor Swift released her Grammy Award-winning album, Folklore. Singles that were released in the UK on July 24th include in 1964 when the Zombies released She's Not There. In 1970, Matthew's Southern Comfort released Woodstock. In 1981, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers released A Woman in Love. In 1984, Wham! released Careless Whisper. And in 2006, Snow Patrol released Chasing Cars. Meanwhile in America, in 1961, The Temptations released Oh Mother of Mine. In 1964, The Rolling Stones released It's All Over Now. In 1967, the Beach Boys released Heroes and Villains, and Diana Ross and the Supremes released Reflections. In 1976, Jefferson Starship released With Your Love, and in 1980, Billy Joel released Don't Ask Me Why. Before we continue, we'd like to tell you about the Music History In-Depth podcast, where we go in-depth on the history of some of the events from the daily version of the Music History Today podcast. The Music History In-Depth podcast drops new episodes every Tuesday in audio and video form wherever you get your podcasts. 
We also have the Music Halls of Fame podcast, where we honor a year in music along with a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, along with who we think should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Plus, we honor a different museum, Walk of Fame, or Hall of Fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday in audio and video form wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to the Music History Today podcast. Artists who were born on July 24th include entertainer extraordinaire Miss Jennifer Lopez, Broadway superstar Kristen Chenoweth, Ladybug Mecca of Diggable Planets, Paul Geary of Extreme, Kim Burley of The Stampeders, Alan Whitehead of Marmalade, Jim Armstrong of Them, Heinz Bird of The Tornadoes, Barbara Jean Love of Friends of Distinction, country music singer Pam Tillis, Gary Scheider of Parliament Funkadelic, Mick Karn of Japan, singer Mitch Grassi, singer Carly Gebert, jazz drummer Rudy Collins, singer Bob Eberly, Duke Ellington's trumpet player Cootie Williams, Robbie Gray of Modern English, Wadi Buchan of The Exploited, Jasper Tuell of The Pilgrims, rapper Stat Quo, composer Benedetto Marcello, guitarist Linval Golding of The Specials, guitarist Larry Gott of James, composer Konstantin Grigorovich Nosev, composer Ernest Bloch, composer George James Webb rounds out the group this time around. Meanwhile, artists who unfortunately passed away on July 24th include organist and composer Johann Weichmann, who passed away in 1652 at the age of 32. The aforementioned composer Benedetto Marcello passed away in 1739 on his 53rd birthday. Composer Johann Eckhart passed away in 1809 at the age of 74. Composer Joseph Schuster passed away in 1812 at the age of 63. Singer Sophie Gale passed away in 1819 at the age of 43. Composer Jacob Kimball passed away in 1826 at the age of 65. Pianist Maria Semenovska passed away from cholera in 1831 at the age of 41. Composer Joseph Ebler passed away in 1846 at the age of 81. Composer Johann von Schantz passed away in 1865 at the age of 30. Composer Thomas Moody passed away in 1876 at the age of 66. Composer Max von Schillings passed away in 1933 at the age of 65. Composer James Dunn passed away in 1936 at the age of 52. Pianist Marmaduke Barton passed away in 1938 at the age of 72. Composer Ernest Austin passed away in 1947 at the age of 72. Composer Carl Dees passed away in 1960 at the age of 77. Nervous Norvis passed away in 1968 at the age of 56. Composer Alan Rothstorn passed away in 1971 at the age of 66. Bobby Ramirez of the group White Trash was killed in a bar brawl after someone didn't like the length of his hair in 1972 at the age of 23. Singer and actress Mary Frasca passed away in 1973. Her age is actually unknown. Film composer and arranger Leo Shukin passed away in 1976 at the age of 69. Jazz pianist Dick Wellstude passed away in 1987 at the age of 59. Singer and composer Jerry Lorden passed away in 1995 at the age of 61. Singer and composer George Dorr passed away in 2001 at the age of 70. Composer Claude Balif passed away in 2004 at the age of 80. Singer Dan Peake of the group America passed away in 2011 at the age of 60. Singer and actress Jane White passed away in 2011 at the age of 88. Composer Nikos Mamangakis passed away in 2013 at the age of 84. The violinist at the Barge Music from 1982 to 1995, along with being a professor at the Indiana University Jacob School of Music from 1999 to 2014, Iquan Bay passed away in 2014 from cancer at the age of 57. 
Saxophonist Keith Gemmel passed away in 2016 at the age of 68. In 2016, the great singer Marnie Nixon passed away at the age of 86. Who was Marnie Nixon? Well, she was the woman who did all of the singing in the movies My Fair Lady and West Side Story. It was not Audrey Hepburn. It was not Natalie Wood. It was Marnie Nixon. Composer Eric Sweeney passed away in 2020 at the age of 72. And bossa nova and samba singer Lenny Andrade passed away in 2023 at the age of 80. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is July 25th, when in 1965, Dylan plugs in and shocks the folk music world and your parents and grandparents. Thank you very, very much for listening. If you're listening on the podcast or if you're watching this on YouTube or Spotify video. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share this podcast. And if you like this podcast and you want more of our podcasts, then I invite you to check out our Music Halls of Fame podcast in either audio or video form. It drops every single Thursday. You can listen to the audio version of this podcast on Apple, Anchor, Spotify, Google Podcasts, CastBox, wherever you get your podcasts from, all under Music History Today. You can also watch the video version of this podcast on either YouTube or Spotify Video, also under Music History Today. Our Facebook page is Music History Today. Our website is jameritaniamedia.com. And our Twitter is twitter.com backslash Music History Day. Thank you very, very much for listening or watching. <laughs>